Being up close to a raging wildfire like this one is a terrifying experience. Unfortunately, scenes like this are going to be more common as climate change increases wildfire activity. Average annual temperatures across the western U.S. have risen nearly two degrees in the past few decades, allowing large wildfires to thrive on these dry, extreme conditions. You can just feel the heat. Temperatures over 1,500 degrees, flames shooting high into the air. Guess what? We can get fire whirls that develop in an instant. Pockets of extreme temperature causing the air to accelerate upward, right? Air rushing in toward the ground to fill the void. Rotation tightens and produces a column of swirling fire and smoke. These fire whirls, as they're called, are often short-lived and usually less than 50 feet across. But under certain conditions, large fires, like this one, can generate pyrocumulus thunderstorms that can produce large, long-lasting fire natives. They can be hundreds of feet across and thousands of feet tall. Look at the size of that thing. Could you imagine the power? They combine the intensity of the raging fire with the destructive power of a tornado. Winds over 140 miles an hour leave a trail of destruction and create extremely hazardous conditions for firefighters. Unfortunately, this terrifying display might be showing up more often as warming temperatures and drying conditions become more prevalent across the western United States.